proper again today doing the third of our Aberdeen Trail walks. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> we're out today to do the third of the Aberdeen Trails. We're just going to head into Duffy Park. We're at the bottom of Palmuir Road. Now I think on Tuesday night this was all flooded. It's as bad across the road, there's a two metre mark to show you how bad it gets. So what we'll do is we'll head into the park and have a wee wonder. Number one, East Lodge. 19th century baronial lodge built in 1882-83. Two, playground steam road roller. Oh, here we go. Duffy Park Trail, that's what we're following today. Three, the Gordon Highlander Memorial. This is one of two memorials to the regiment in the park. Now this is number four, gas lamp pedestal. And it's made of red Peterhead granite. And it once stood in the Aberdeen New Market beside the indoor fountain. Now this could be the first argument of the day. This is number five, Hygieia. I'm sure she'll correct me in a minute. And its inscription is, This park was presented by Elizabeth Crombie Duthie to the city of Aberdeen, opened by HRH Princess Beatrice on the 27th of September, 1883. Number six, Bowling Pavilion and Community Garden. Now this is a former bowling pavilion built in the early 1900s and it was converted into to provide the park rangers facilities. So here's the, the old bowling green. Apparently this is where the old tennis courts used to be. And this is now the community garden. The Friends of Duthie Park along with the Park Force Garden and Volunteers Group maintain it. along with the 1920s rockery, which we'll see in a minute. Seven, the 1920s rockery. So this was originally formed in 1922, restored during the renovations of 2012-13, and it's run by the Aberdeen Rock Garden Club and the Friends of Duthie Park, and it was completed in June 2016. Number eight, Granite Quarrying. So commercial quarrying began running out here in 1730, up in the Rosemont area. And they've actually got its own granite trail, which will maybe do one day. Number nine, the Duthie Fountain. Now this is by A. Macdonald & Co. in Aberdeen. In its heyday, water jets spouted through the carved swans with folded wings. We've got an upper basin and Taza. And this was presented in 1883 by Elizabeth Crombie Duthie. Number 10, Boating Pond. Now this has been used by the Model Yacht Club since 1907. Now the former shape was an hourglass and in 1926 it was developed into this rectangle so it could conform to the international model yachting standards and allow competitions to be held here. The Model Yacht Club has used this pond since 1907 making it the oldest continuous user of Duffy Park. Number 11, Circular Pond. This has been restored to match its original layout. So it was removed during 1961 when the park was redeveloped. And during June 2010, it was surveyed and they found all the original gubbins and the footprint underneath. So what they did is they recreated it and it was opened up in August 2012. Number 12, McGregor Obelisk by Alexander Ellis. It's made of red Peterhead granite from the Stirling Hill Quarry. Now this was originally sited in a quadrangle of Marshall College, but was moved in 1906, and it's to honour the memory of Sir James McGregor, Director General of the Army Medical Department for 36 years. He was also the Lord Rector of Marshall College. 13, Fountain Hall Well. Now this dates from 1706, and it's a small granite rubble cistern house. The metal plaque reads, All well from lands of Fountain Hall, erected in connection with the city's first water supply 1706, re-erected 1903. Now this was moved from near Fountain Hall House, which is now 130 Blenheim Place. 14. World War II loopholes. Now these are a defensive feature from World War II. It was an inexpensive alternative to building pillboxes, and these allowed 
the defensive fire along King George VI Bridge. 15. King George VI Bridge. The foundation stone was laid in 15th of September 1938 and was officially opened on the 10th of December 1941 by Queen Elizabeth in the presence of her husband, King George VI. 16. Former Denburn Footbridge. Now this was built circa 1883 and it's a three-span flat arch bridge now known as the Iron Bridge. Now this once crossed over the Denburn Valley near the Triple Kirks before the building of Rosemont Viaduct. Number 17, the linked lakes. There are three linked lakes. Now they were an important feature of the original design by William McKelvey and they were excavated between 1881 and 1883 and all the stuff that came out, all the material that came out was used to build the mound, which you'll see shortly. Number 18, Union Bridge Balustrade. Now when the south side of the Union Bridge was developed in 1962, this was moved to the park and it originally stood outside the front of the Winter Gardens. Trade and Finance, were, which we'll see shortly, was originally mounted on this. And on the tops here, used to be a range of Kelly Cats. 19, Duthie Park Bandstand. This is a late Victorian octagonal design, and it was erected about 1893, designed by McDowell, Stephen and Co. from Glasgow, and it cost £400 and it's got a weather vane on its apex. Number 20, the Taylor Well. Now this was sculpted by Alexander Taylor and dates from the late 1800s. It was originally located at Great Northern Road and Clifton Road Junction near the Northern Hotel. And it incorporates a drinking fountain, a dog basin and a horse trough. 21, J.J.R. McLeod Memorial Statue. This is a, this is a initiative of the J. J.R. McLeod Memorial Statue Society and there is mis their mission is to give proper credit to this medical pioneer. Now he was a graduate of Aberdeen University and working in Toronto, Canada he co-discovered insulin which is vital for the treatment of diabetes and in 1923 he was jointly awarded the Nobel Prize. Now this statue marks the 100th anniversary. 22. The Temperance Fountain. Now this was by James Hunter, 1883 and it's inscribed in commemoration of the advancement of temperance under the auspices of the Aberdeen Temperance Society in the year 1882. This is the entrance of, of Great Southern Road, 23, the West Lodge. The original West Lodge was removed due to the widening of Great Southern Road in 1938. So the original West Lodge was rebuilt at number 72, Rubsla Den South. And across Great Southern Road we've got the 24 Allendale Cemetery and this dates from circa 1880. Now in there we've got 164 Commonwealth graves from World War I and 110 from World War II and the Allendale War Memorial commemorates 47 soldiers who passed away in the number one Scottish General Hospital of Aberdeen during and following World War I. 25 the Gordon Highlanders Memorial now this is one of two in the park, and this one dates from 1898, and it's in memory of the officers and men of the 1A Battalion Gordon Highlanders, who fell in India during 1892 to 1898. 26. The Mound. Now this was constructed between 1881 and 83, from the material excavated from the linked lakes, and it was restored to its original state during the restoration project in July 2012. <laughs>
this is number 44 the old D side line this is a former railway line 1853 to 1966 this line fell foul of the Dr. Beechin cuts back in 66 and the railway ran from Aberdeen to Bankery then it was extended out to Balata in 1856 it was planned to extend up to Bremar but Queen Victoria was afraid her privacy would be disturbed by hordes of tourists at Balmoral so she bought the land around about it to prevent it extending up beyond Balata So we're outside St Nicholas Church in the St Nicholas Graveyard and this is the burial place of Elizabeth Crombie Duthie who gifted a Duthie Park to the city of Aberdeen. Right that completes the Duthie Park trail. If anybody's managed to stomach it this long please give us a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe and we'll see you soon for the next one. Tatty bye! <laughs>